Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I have an amazing video to share with all of you. You won't believe, but this bag is a reusable bag and I only cover with these amazing flowers that I crochet. So instead of make the crochet bag and then use a the fabric under, well, I make it vice versa. I use a reusable bag that I have from a store I have there and I also have a lot of uh, bags like this uh, gather but well I decided to give it a second hand and to cover with crochet and to give it a second chance I also use the handles of the bag I took advantage of it and look this was the final result okay i will divide this video in two parts okay today i will show you the first part i will show you the first steps and then in the coming video i will share the second part but we will use the same material okay well let's do lose more time and let's start well for this bag we are going to use 400 grams 100 grams in each color okay i will use these shades of blue and this shade of gray too okay remember that we are going to cover and it will depends of the size of the uh, reusable bag that you want to cover okay so it will depend of that i will use this light material i will use this brand and in these beautiful colors and we will use a hook of number three and a half also we will use a needle and some threads to sew and of course our reusable, reusable bag okay i have this from previous stores that i have bought and some of them that well when you go and buy they give you so you can cover one of these reusable bags that you have for any convenience store for a supermarket or for a shopping mall or so and we will cover with yarn well to cover this reusable bag we are going to make Rani's square I make the sample and I count and I need to make 36 Rani's square okay so I will make 12 in this color then 12 with this color and 12 with this darker blue so remember that according of the size of the reusable bag that you are going to cover it will depend the number of squares so first we will start making four chains then a slip one to close in circle we will go up with one two three chains we will turn over and inside the circle we will start making double crochet we are going to make 16 and the first chains that we made we will count as the first one so like this we are going to make inside 16 double crochet well at the end of the 16 double crochet we are going to slip one to close and first i will make all the centers of the flower so first i will make 12 centers like this in this color 12 in the other blue and 12 in the darker blue so following the same instructions you are going to make first all your centers then once you have them we are going to continue with these instructions so look we will imagine that we have all the circles and all the centers of the flower that we need we are going to change color i will use the next the next shade of blue and here we will start we will make three chains one two and three and between spaces between stitches right here in the same space we are going to make six double crochet together here we already have two then three four five and six six double crochet then take your hook out, insert in the first space, right there in the first double crochet, and take the last loop and bring them through. Here we have the first popcorn. Make a chain two, close. We will make three chains. Then we will skip two double crochet, one and two. 
and here in this space next to the second double crochet right there we are going to make the next popcorn while we make this we will try to hide the threads that we have so we are going to crochet over them so like this we can hide them right so again inside we are going to make six double crochet to make the second popcorn so as you could see between popcorns we are making three chains five and six Take your hook out, inserting the first stitch, bring them through one chain and again three chains. So like this we are going to continue the whole row. At the end we must have eight popcorns like this one. Well look, I finished to make the flower. It is very important that at the end we count that we have eight petals, okay? Because I was making the other flowers and I found out that I made some with seven so please always count at the end so at the end we will finish with three chains and we are going to slip one to close here in the top of the next uh, popcorn just let me figure out I don't know what I tied too much I don't know if you could hear but the storm is really heavy so if you hear some noises well you know that it's raining so well here at the end we are going to cut and we are going to use the uh, other color we are going to make here a knot and we will change and use the darker blue so well here we will start with the next color remember while we make this we are going to try to hide these threads that we have here so we are going to crochet over them we are going to go up with four chains and now here in this space we will make four double crochet but we are going to make this double crochet of three crochet okay well we are going to make uh, these four double crochet without counting the chain that i made at the beginning okay remember we are going to make this four double crochet of three crochet so here we have a 30 chain one two three and four then three chains one two and three and we are going to slip one at the end so then we will slip one and then uh, to go to the other space we are going to make three chains and inside again we are going to make four double crochet remember this double crochet of three crochet okay so at the end we are going to make the last one let me finish this petal with you so we will have four double crochet inside then three chains and at the end we are going to slip one we are going to slip one more to go to the next space we will go up with four chains and we will repeat well we will continue like this the whole row look i finished to mark the flower and it looks like this well at the end we are going to slip one to close i will cut this color and i finish well as i told you according to the size of the reusable bag that i will use i need 36 chains so i combine color when i start with this light then in the other flower I started with the other color and once I started with the darker blue so I combined these shades of blue and I made 12 in each color okay so well now and once that you have all the flowers that you need I will show you how we are going to join them without cutting the threads okay we are going to join them all together so you first as a homework you have to finish all the flowers that you need and then we are going to make a strip of flower well before we continue i will give you this tip okay this quick tip this is how you are going to hide all the threads that you have before we join all of them it is important that you already make this step too so we are going to pass the needle through the project remember that it's important that we keep and we respect the color and according to the color we are going to hide it so we can perfectly blend the color so once we have we pass through the needle we are going to take the thread and we are going to insert it to the needle and like this we are going to hide then we can cut 
it's very important, okay? Don't cut right away. First, hide it a bit and then you can cut. So, well, now we are going to uh, start with the strap. We will start here in the top of this first petal with the great color. It's the color that I will choose and I, that I will use for the rest of the bag. I will go up with three chains. Then here in the same space, we are going to make two double crochet more. So counting the chain, we will have three, then three chains, then in the same space, three double crochet more so two and three then we are going to make three chains one two and three and in the next top of the next petal single crochet then again three chains and again here we are going to make the corner of the squares but like we are going to join all the flowers without cutting first we are going to make the half of the corner so first we are going to make three double crochet then we are going to make three chains and now we are going to take other flower remember that we are going to alternate the colors please take care of that detail and as you could see here I started with the center with the light blue now I will continue with the other shade so here I will make the next the second part of the corner making three double crochet in the same space in the top then three chains and in the next petal single crochet three chains and here again we are in the corner so we are going to make first three double crochet so here we have two and three okay then three chains and look again here we have the half of the corner and here we complete the other and half of the corner and now we are going to repeat also we are going to alternate remember so here in the top of the petal that you choose there we are going to make the three double crochet like this is how we are going to join okay first we are going to make a long strip of one side of the uh, back okay so here we have just made a single crochet then three chains and in the next petal the next three double crochet okay so look here I have the three colors and that I alternate now I'm going to start all over again so I already count and for one side of the bag I need nine flowers so nine flowers for the long and like this we are going to join okay according to the size of your long of the flower then I will show you how many for the white so look I finished to join the nine flowers for the long okay so now I'm going to crochet this side the next side and the last side and when we are about to come back we are going to join with the next flower so here I'm going to complete the corner I'm going to make three chains and then the oh, four double crochet sorry the three double crochet and then three chains single crochet again three chains and in the next the three double crochet then three chains and in the same space the next three double crochet because remember that here we are in the corner then three chains single crochet and again three chains and here again we are in the corner so three double crochet three chains and in the same space three double crochet to complete the corner so look here I will show you let me finish so look here how I I'm completing the square now I'm going to finish this side here so now I'm going to make three chains one two and three I will make single crochet then three chains and again here in the corner I will complete and make the next three double crochet and then three chains and I will slip one here in this space 
to uh, join with the other flower okay so while I make this side I'm going to join with the last flower with the last square so look here I insert hook now I'm going to make two chains and I'm going to complete this corner here so I'm going to make three double crochet in the same space remember that here we are in the second flower then two chains I'm going to take and insert the hook right here in the middle of the space of the last flower of the last square we are going to slip one then I'm going to insert the hook in the top of the petal single crochet two chains in the middle of the next space of the last flower insert your hook slip one then one chain then here three double crochet in the other flower to complete with the row then three chains we will go to the other square we are going to slip one then two chains and we are going to complete the corner of the other flower making three double crochet so you see we make like kind of zigzag and now we complete and we join without cutting now we are going to complete the square and we are going to repeat the same and like this we are going to join and finish this first strip well I follow the same steps and the same instructions and I finish to join all of the flowers making these squares without cutting the thread I will crochet four for the first front one for the uh, for the base and four for the other for the second front so here we are going to cut so as you could see we only cut once okay so now we are going to make the second strip but here is where I'm going to finish the first part of this video in the second video I will show you how we are going to continue with the rest but for now and as a homework first we need to finish all the flowers that we need according to the size of the bag that we are going to make okay and also we need to finish to join the first strip so well uh, just a reminder this is the first part of this beautiful bag at the end we will have this result in the coming video I will show you how we are going to finish to make the coming strips and how we are going to join and remember that you can use any kind of reusable bag that you have gathered there in, in, in your house okay so we can give it a second chance and make a beautiful bag like this one but well remember that before you go it's important that you subscribe that you activate the notification bells because remember that we have uh, missing the second part of this bag okay so for now uh, don't forget to subscribe to leave me a comment and to share this video and please stay tuned for the second part okay thank you so much for arriving till the end thank you bye look how beautiful please stay tuned